Devil Game I have a dice of fate introduction. This is an era where supernatural and technological coexist. Forty-three years ago, on the edge of human civilization, a demon island was born. The demon with the code name King has turned a small country with millions of people into an extraordinary game. Only by killing demons can we pass the game and end everything. Fortunately or unfortunately, Chen Qi became a player of this demon game. Fortunately, he has a magical dice that can be rolled out to fulfill three wishes for free. And Chen Qi's first wish is... Dot. Chapter 1. Dice of Fate You are listening at NovelFull.audio Blue Taro Kingdom, Talon City, Slums This is the third rain since autumn, and the water vapor seems to be still majestic in summer. The bleak autumn wind with the rainstorm completely washed the whole slum shivering. Dida, Dida In the most remote corner of the street, in a rudimentary rental house. The stubborn infiltration of grey and black rainwater staged a rain-rolling pearl curtain for the owner here. Heavy rain outside and light rain inside, this is Chin Chi's simple and unadorned life. Will pies really fall from the sky? You can achieve any wish without paying a price. Chin Chi stared at the bronze dice suspended in front of him, indifferent to the rain dripping on his body. Just before the heavy rain came, he was just an ordinary worker. But when he returned home in the rain and fell into the dark mud, this dice miraculously appeared. By throwing corresponding points, three wishes can be fulfilled free of charge, this is the information that suddenly appeared in Chin Chi's mind after picking up the dice. Excited, unbelievable, ecstatic. Chin Chi only remembers looking around and running back to the rental house like a crazy person. But after calming down, Chin Chi hesitated. Could this be an evil trap where people can really get something for nothing? The numb and mediocre life of the past is now tightly binding him. In the room, the bronze dice are still quietly suspended. It is a standard regular 20 hedron with 1.20 points marked on it. In addition, there are some blurry patterns and patterns on each surface, but it seems that it is not a problem of wear and tear, but rather Chin Chi is unable to see clearly. Even more unique is that some faces are engraved with text. Chen Qi counted carefully, 1, 14, 15, 17, 19, 20, all of which had inscriptions on them. The handwriting used for engraving is completely different, and the characters used are also completely unfamiliar. But strangely enough, even though Chen Qi did not recognize these words, he still understood the message above, 1. By throwing the corresponding number of points, three wishes can be fulfilled free of charge. Note. Each person only has three chances to throw, and the size of the wish that can be fulfilled is determined by the number of points, ding ding, ding ding. The communicator suddenly rang, waking up Chin Chi who was lost in thought. The rent for next month has been advanced. I'll give you three days time. And rent will increase by another two hundred, don't bargain with me. This is the protection fee for Hei Long Hall. The landlord's rough and hoarse voice was like a wolf roaring. But Chen Chi has no ability to resist at all, because his salary can only afford to live here. Oh, no, I can't afford to live anymore. Today, he has already lost his job, which is why Chen Chi was able to go home before dark. Before Chen Chi could make a struggle, the landlord suddenly hung up the call. Along with it, there was also all the hesitation and hesitation that Chin Chi had before. He has nothing to lose in his current life. Gods from ancient times, the great ancestors of humanity, and the ancestors of the Chin family, please grant me boundless luck. Wash face and hands, put on the most dignified clothes, Chin Chi lit three cigarettes and sincerely prayed. This is already the most mystical way he can think of to increase his energy in a short period of time. Ordinary dice may still cheat, but such a magical dice should only rely on luck. After the cigarette burned out, Chen Chi held the dice in his hand and solemnly threw out his life. At the moment of throwing, the bronze dice emitted a rainbow of seven, and then truly appeared in the real world. 
The dice that were previously suspended in the air seemed to only exist in Chin Chi's cognition and had no interaction with the surrounding world. It can penetrate anything except for Chin Chi's own feeling in touch. After the dice appeared in the real world, Chen Qi could no longer touch them and could only watch them fall to the ground, roll a few times, and then stop moving. 4. A heart-wrenching number appeared in Chen Qi's eyes, instantly dispelling all previous fantasies. The dice were once again suspended in the air, and next Chen Qi just needed to express his wish with his own mouth, and it would be realized. Hey, what wish can be fulfilled at 4 o'clock? Chen Qi, who once again realized that he was just an ordinary person and not the son of luck, tried to communicate with bronze dice. However, there was no response. Chen Qi, who never gave up, began to try his wishes one by one. Anyway, if he didn't express his wishes in person, he wouldn't trigger the wish. And there is no time limit for making a wish, it's just that you can't throw it again until the first wish is completed. I want to live forever. Not enough points I want to acquire superpowers. Not enough points Chen Qi's attempt actually received feedback, which immediately aroused his curiosity and he began to experiment continuously. Half an hour later, Chen Qi felt that his brain was overused and his mind was completely blank. However, he finally determined to what extent, four points, his wish could be fulfilled. Winning 30 million grand prize, the body is developing again. To enable a cancer patient to fully recover, possible, mastering 10 foreign languages in one day, possible, becoming a police chief within one year, may, self comminuted fracture, immediate recovery, possible, it's a magical and terrifying power that can be achieved at just 4 o'clock. If it's 17 or 18 o'clock, wouldn't it be true that one can live forever? At this moment, Chen Qi swept away his previous depression, full of desire and ambition. Even with only four points, it is enough to make him soar to fame immediately, completely changing his life. But Chen Qi found it difficult to decide what wish to make. Four points, it limits the upper limit of my desires and prevents me from transcending mortals. What ordinary people need is nothing more than power, wealth, and physical health. I am in good health. If I choose 30 million yuan, like children holding gold in the bustling market, it will definitely cause trouble. If I have to, I'm afraid I will make a wish immediately. There are only three opportunities to make wishes, and one must use them carefully for the long run. Choosing power takes too long and there are too many variables in between. Ultimately, my social status is too low to bear too much risk, but I don't want to compromise. There are only three opportunities to change my destiny, and I must use them to the extreme. After much contemplation, Chen Qi finally made up his mind. Since social status is not enough, then elevate social status. When testing her wishes before, Chen Qi, who was angry about being fired for no reason today, thought about whether she could become the chairman of the group. However, it is unbelievable that what he wants to become is the chairman of Cross Group, a private enterprise with a wealth of at least 180 million yuan, clearly exceeding the standard. Even more incredible is that achieving this process only takes two days. When Chen Qi wanted to become the general manager of a subsidiary of the group, which was his previous company, it took him a month. This eerie situation definitely hides certain mechanisms of making wishes. Since there are risks involved, then take a big gamble. I make a wish to become the chairman of Cross Group within two days. Chen Qi firmly expressed his wish towards the bronze dice. Chapter 2 Red Peach 7 You are listening at NovelFull.audio On November 23rd at 22.47, Tianxiao Road 7th Alley, Nanqing District, Tallinn City After Chen Qi made his wish, a detailed list of time and place appeared in his mind, even accompanied by a precise map. Is that enough? Chen Qi looked bewildered, thinking that this dice would show off its divine power. Is that all? But given the magic before the dice, Chen Qi believes there must be another mystery behind it. November 23rd, which is tomorrow, fully meets the limit of two days. Next is to wait quietly. 
autumn rain lasts for a day and a night. During this period, Chen Qi stayed honestly in the rented house to avoid unexpected situations. At 19.35 on the 23rd, the falling rain finally dissipated, and Chen Qi went out to his destination. At 22.30, Chen Qi arrived at a small restaurant only 500 meters away from his destination. Although not close to the slums, this place is already a paradise for gang members. From time to time, we can see drunk thugs and thugs. Strange, why is this place like this? It's really difficult for Chin Chi to associate this dirty and messy place with becoming a billionaire. But adhering to his trust in bronze dice, Chin Chi continued to move towards his destination as planned. At 22.40, Chin Chi arrived at the sixth alley. Bang 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 bang. Suddenly, Gunshots came from a distance, becoming increasingly dense and clear. Chen Qi felt a little flustered in his heart, but he quickly calmed down and could no longer shrink back. Damn it, where did that kid go? Chase, keep chasing. Killed so many of us, even shaved off the boss's nose, still wanting to run. A group of gang members holding firearms and emitting a bloody aura passed by not far from Chen Qi in a fierce manner. Chen Qi curled up in the dim corner, afraid to take a breath of air. Damn it, how could we have encountered such a thing? Should we have failed? Chen Qi is only over 20 meters away from these guys. If it weren't for the lack of moonlight tonight and the dimness in the alley, the guy across from him could have seen him with just a glance. Once these people disperse for a search, there is no escape. Fortunately, Chen Qi soon realized that these guys were just shouting loudly, but they didn't dare to enter the dim alley. This style is clearly a bluff and a passing act. It seems that the person who offended them should be very powerful, Chen Qi made a judgment. Sure enough, these guys quickly left here and chased after the brightly lit main road. At 22.46, Chen Qi finally arrived at the designated location. But here is empty, not to mention people, not even a wild cat. 20, 19, 18, dot. Chen Qi's tense mood reached its peak, and he waited for that moment in seconds. Bang! At 22.47, accompanied by Chen Qi's last heartbeat, a figure suddenly fell heavily on the alley entrance. Surprisingly, it's him, Joya Chris. Perhaps due to staying for too long, Chen Qi's eyes have adapted to the dim environment. Even though the distance was a bit far, he still recognized the identity of the figure at a glance. Joya Chris, 32 years old, built the Chris Group in just five years, an outstanding entrepreneurial youth and famous playboy in Tallinn. Chen Qi has been able to almost memorize his information in the past two days. But why did this billionaire appear here and suffer serious injuries? I don't know, do I have to save his life, and then he gave me the company as a reward for saving his life. Unconsciously, such a guess came to Chin Chi's mind. Cough. Help me, take me to the hospital, I can give you three million. Giorgio Chris took his last breath and spoke with difficulty. He was really unlucky today, just punishing ordinary people who dared to offend him as usual. Unexpectedly, he capsized in the sewer and was hit in the heart by bullets fired by the other party. However, fate ultimately favored him, just like before. The frightened passerby in the alley is his hope for survival. Three million. Chen Qi was stunned for a moment, as if things were not as he had imagined. If you're afraid of causing trouble, just help me stop the bleeding, and I'll find someone to help. As a reward, the Opal Star Diamond watch I am wearing is worth 5 million yuan and you can take it away. If I die here, the remaining traces of you here will definitely be caught by the police. Believe me, my identity is enough for them to treat you like a ghost. Seeing that the other party was not moving, Jamoya immediately increased the stakes. He felt that he was thoughtful enough for the other person, whether they had good intentions or greed, they could not refuse. And Chen Qi was indeed moved for a moment, subconsciously lifting half of his foot. But the next moment, the foot he lifted fell back to its original position. 
a puff. Chen Qi's actions instantly caused Xiao Moya's mood to fluctuate greatly. The wound in the heart broke open again as a result, and the strong breath instantly withered. You, you. Xiao Moya stared at Chen Qi with a resentful gaze, thinking that Chen Qi was deliberately teasing him. It's not what you think, I have no intention of killing or robbing money. There's just a logical problem, I need to sort it out. Chen Qi spoke to Xiao Moya with a serious expression on his face, and Xiao Moya was shocked to find that what the other party was saying was actually the truth. What kind of situation is this? I made a wish, the bronze dice were responsible for fulfilling it, and he only gave me one location. That is to say, as long as I appear here at the right time, my wish will come true. And if I were to rescue Joya, this guy wouldn't even consider giving me the company right now. Even if he agrees now, whether he can fulfill it depends entirely on him. Isn't it Jamoya who determines whether my wish can be realized? Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net clearly conflicts with the bronze dice. So there is only one truth, and it doesn't matter at all. Whether I can become the chairman of the group has nothing to do with him. Although this conclusion is a bit strange, I believe it is the answer. The fog in Chen Qi's mind was dispelled, and no matter how much Xiao Moya tried to intimidate and entice him, he just stood quietly in place, not moving at all. Why, as long as you move half a step, only 10 centimeters, I can get your heart. I'm not willing. This is Jamoya's last words, and in the last moment of his life, his eyes were full of questions. Brush. At the moment of his death, a purple light peeled off from his body. And as the light peeled off, Jamoya's body underwent a earth-shattering transformation, transforming into another person. The original Jamoya had blonde hair, handsome, tall, and powerful. But now the body on the ground is a small and sleazy middle-aged yellow-haired person, giving the impression of a homeless man on the street. What is the situation? The change in the body left Chin Chi in shock, which somewhat challenged his imagination. But the more eerie change is the purple light. It turned into a playing card and spun continuously on the corpse of Jamoya. And just as the playing cards appeared, Chen Qi instinctively knew that his wish had been fulfilled. So he walked step by step towards the floating playing cards. The playing card rotates continuously, with the front facing Heart 7 and the back facing Georgia. Just as it flickered rapidly and was about to disappear, Chen Qi grabbed it. Chapter 3 King's Game You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Detected new player, whether to enter King's Game, at the moment Chen Qi grabbed the playing card, a message projected into his mind. This, this, Chen Qi was completely stunned for 10 seconds, almost doubting life. What is going on in this world? Firstly, a dice appeared that could fulfill human desires for free, and now there is a game called King's Game. As long as you're not a fool, you can see the strangeness of this game. He had an incredibly ordinary 23 years of life before, but how failed he was, he didn't even know the true face of the world. Yes, no, the information keeps jumping, waiting for Chin Chi to make a choice. He <laughs> he. Even if it's a big pit, we can only jump first. The Chiao Moya on the back of the playing card made Chin Chi make a decision. Yes, at the moment of making a choice, the playing card turned into a purple light, unable to enter Chin Chi's left hand. On the back of Chin Chi's left hand, a pattern of Heart 7 appeared. Create new game characters or inherit existing game characters a new choice reappeared, and Chin Chi instantly understood how bronze dice helped him achieve his wish. At the moment when Chin Chi chose to inherit the original game character, Heart 7 unleashed a purple light, enveloping him completely. Chin Chi felt as if he was in a furnace, accepting the process of being reshaped. In the next moment, the purple light dissipated, Chin Chi disappeared, and Xiao Moya Chris appeared again. Ha ha ha, it's really a new life. Feeling a completely unfamiliar and familiar body, Chin Chi's heart was filled with mixed feelings, and he turned into, 
Joya Chris, if this is the price of changing fate, he doesn't seem to have any reason to refuse. Player, Xiao Moya Chris, Chen Chi, Life Level, 4, Note. Average value of 2 for ordinary humans, equipment, heart 7, skill, physical manipulation, string slaying, note. Effective range of 10 meters, spirit points, 30 this is Chen Chi's game data, and after checking the scope of his skills, Chen Chi was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat. The location given by the bronze dice is exactly 10 meters away from Jamoya. If Chiao Moya is not severely injured, or if Chen Chi takes one more step, then waiting for him is physical manipulation. Before Chiao Moya's death, he still couldn't forget Chen Chi's heart, obviously not dying babbling. Damn it, it's really a close call. Chen Chi looked angrily at the corpse, wishing to shatter it into pieces. But reason quickly calmed Chen Chi down, and he needed to properly handle the aftermath of this body. It is absolutely not possible to associate the corpse with Giorgio Chris. Chen Chi first removed his communicator and watch, and then carefully searched the body. Perhaps due to the need for a battle tonight, the corpse did not carry much, and Chen Chi quickly searched and found everything. The current corpses are not much different from homeless people on the roadside, except for their expensive clothing. But how to handle the body itself, Chen Chi has made a mistake, he has no experience at all. If discarded, the gunshot wound in the chest would be too conspicuous. As it concerns his own secrets, Chen Chi will certainly not allow any flaws to be left behind. Oh, oh, a deep sob accompanied by the autumn wind swept by. Chen Qi's hair stood on end in an instant, his whole body alert to the extreme. He felt a faint sense of threat, with a very special life form lurking in the darkness. And this perception, which is different from the five senses, was not present to Chen Qi before. This is an instinct that arises when the health level reaches, 4. What the hell is that? A huge black dog the size of a calf, with a spiral horn on its head, slowly emerged from the darkness. Its eyes emitted a dark green fluorescence, like a dancing and burning flame. Stinky and decaying, Chen Chi felt the breath of death on this dog. Unexpectedly, urban legends are also true. The death dog actually exists. In the slums, there has always been a legend of the death dog. Whether dying of illness, starvation, or gang fights, as long as the body is left unchecked, it will be eaten by a black giant dog with a single horn. Chen Qi had always thought that it was fabricated by malicious people from the slums to scare outsiders, but he didn't expect it to be true. But isn't this dog only eating corpses? Why are you grinning at me and yawning? A deep growl, completely different from a dog's bark, emanated from the dog's mouth. And when Chen Qi raised his left hand, ready to try his skills, the dog surprisingly became very discerning. But it still protected its food and stood in front of the body, afraid that Chen Qi might snatch it. You'd better give me a clean meal, otherwise I'll break your dog's leg next time I see you. Chen Qi let out a harsh sentence and then disappeared into the darkness. This may be the best way to handle corpses. Under the darkness, Giorgio Chris walked lightly and swiftly through the alley. Perhaps due to the transformation of the purple light, this body is much stronger than before. The gang members who had been aggressively searching before have long disappeared, and Chen Chi easily left this block. Curious and strange, my body seems to have retained some of the instincts of Joya Chris, but this is clearly my own body. After skillfully opening the watch and subconsciously entering the password to open the communicator, Chen Chi had already felt something was wrong with Yu Yu reading at www.yuukangshu.net. What's even more incredible is that he found a luxury car parked two kilometers away with a certain sense of familiarity. The car started, and Chen Chi instinctively moved towards the direction of home. Can this be considered as entering the play? Outside the car window, the buildings are becoming increasingly prosperous, and it is obvious that this home is not a rental house in a slum. Of course, from the moment he left, Chen Chi had no intention of going back again. Anyway, 
everything there has been handled cleanly by him, and no one will care about his disappearance. Quickly, a luxurious villa appeared ahead, and Chen Qi instinctively planned to park, but forcefully broke free from this instinct and continued on. According to the lace news that Chen Qi saw, that villa is the place where Giorgio Chris's golden house hides her beauty. He only plays by instinct and has no memory of the original owner, so of course he has no intention of dealing with those women. The car continued to move forward and a few minutes later, it stopped in front of another villa. Chen Qi casually manipulated the communicator a few times, and the door slowly opened. The intelligent robot responsible for security work also put away the electric shock gun. Cunning Rabbit's Three Caves, this is another secret residence of Giorgio Christi. The villa was empty, and Chen Qi was familiar with the road, as if he had lived here for a long time without any sense of strangeness. After eating the night snack prepared by the robot chef, Chen Qi sat comfortably in the bathtub and began reading the diary she had just taken out of the safe. I am, Jormia Chris, and by the time you see this diary, I must have died. The first diary entry, July 7, 17643 AD, was actually five years ago. Chapter 4 Muggle Diary You are listening at NovelFull.audio Surprisingly, it was the notes left by Joya Chris. Chen Qi's originally careless attitude immediately changed, after all, he is now Joya Chris. Why? Why am I a muggle who cannot awaken magic? Damn it, the Tomoa school of witchcraft and wizardry is trying to dissuade me. The first article in the diary instantly boosted Chen Qi's spirit. He seems to be able to come into contact with a world he has never heard of before through this diary. Muggle, magic, Tomoa school of witchcraft and wizardry, Chen Qi silently emphasized the key points and secretly remembered them in his heart. My first generation ancestor, who followed the great pirate king, how many small countries trembled under our family's emblem. My seventh generation ancestor completed the conquest of the continent of 073, and his achievements are remembered in the annals of human history. Hateful 13th generation ancestor, lost the family's magical inheritance. But even so, the Chris family still thrived for hundreds of years. But why in my generation, I can't even awaken my magic? I am not willing, I am not convinced. I won't accept my fate. Xiao Moya uses the universal human language designated by the world government, and Chen Qi has no reading barriers at all. So he easily understood the unwillingness and resentment between the lines of Giorgio's words, and even faintly immersed them, creating a slight resonance. Sure enough, those who are dissatisfied with their fate are not just themselves. The following diary content is mostly about Giorgio's inner venting. Until one day three months later, the diary content changed again. Ha ha ha, there is no such thing as a never-dot-ending path. Today I discovered a secret from the dark world. A powerful demon set up a king's game at the cost of a small country. According to the information I have received, as long as you become a player, you can gain extraordinary power, and as long as you kill the king and end this game, you can divide up the power of demons. This is my chance to change my destiny against the heavens, and the glory of my family will surely bloom again in my hands. Between the lines of Joshua's words, he changed his previous resentment and depression, filled with fantasy and optimism. However, Chen Qi also learned about the origin of King's Game from this record. Surprisingly, it was the devil who created King's Game. Chen Qi felt that the world was becoming more and more magical, and demons, legendary evil beings who feed on human souls and do all sorts of evil, appeared. The small country that comes as a price seems to be the Blue Taro country. However, what puzzled Chen Qi was that the Blue Taro kingdom was not isolated from the world, nor was it separated from the whole world. People's lives are not as difficult as water and fire, and even among small countries, Blue Taro country can be considered the most happy group. So what is the so dot called cost? What makes Chen Qi even more puzzled is the devil's motive. Is this guy a fun demon? It doesn't feel reasonable to see a story of a hero fighting a demon in reality, 
the demon is so foolish. Instinctively, Chen Qi had doubts about the second dot hand story of Chiao Moya. But that doesn't prevent him from continuing to read, knowing more is always good. Humph, they're all frogs at the bottom of the well, they're all stumbling blocks in my progress. Surprisingly, they said I was deceived, and they even said that Pi wouldn't fall from the sky, otherwise it would definitely be a trap. They even thought of reporting to the school. Don't be such a friend. Since that's the case, then don't blame me for being impolite. After this recording, Jamoya's diary stopped updating for half a year, indicating that there must have been some major upheaval. Ha ha ha, my decision was indeed right. So what if I'm wanted by the school of witchcraft and wizardry? Anyway, I'm the only one left in the Chris family, and I've sold off all my assets for a source mine. Dot. After arriving in Blue Taro Country, I learned an incredible secret. Human beings, how terrifying. Seeing this, Chen Chi frowned. When he was just copying the house, he didn't find any minerals. As for that, secret, Giorgio Maria didn't even write it. Sure enough, no normal person would write all their secrets in a diary. Chen Chi looked at his diary and found the date in February 17644. This is also the time when Chris Trading Company was first established. It seems that Jamoya has made all kinds of preparations. Oh, strange. Chen Chi continued to flip through his diary, only to find that the content of the following diary had changed words, and Chen Qi couldn't understand it at all. After flipping through more than ten pages in a row, another unfamiliar handwriting suddenly appeared, leaving a paragraph in common language on one page of notes. Damn it, I hate studying the most in my life, Joya Chris, you didn't die unjustly at all. It's rare for me to study hard, but you almost killed me. This, buddy, who doesn't love learning even circled a paragraph from Jamoya's diary. Obviously, this is the big pit. Unfortunately, Chen Chi couldn't understand the meaning of that diary at all. However, Chen Chi had almost guessed the identity of this, buddy. The following diary content will still be in the password book mode, until the last page of the diary of Giorgio. That was a diary stained with blood, and in the final moments of his life, Jamoya used universal characters. I hate it so much. So what I've received has always been a dying card. But I'm not convinced, there must still be a chance to turn things around. I, Joya Chris, swear that even if I die, you you reading www.uukangshu. Net will kill that person. The glory of the Chris family cannot be defiled. The player who inherits this card hopes that you can keep the game character of Joya Chris. As a reward, you can obtain the knowledge I brought from the Tomoa School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which is the key to your survival. As for the Chris group, I will give it to you. If you want to survive, study hard, ha ha ha. Josiah Chris, June 7, 17648. Joya Chris died five months ago. A dying card. Chen Qi's heart suddenly tugged, it seemed that his new life may be exciting enough, but it may not be long. Lasting. But he didn't feel too hopeless or pessimistic, believing that he had made two wishes. I have agreed to your request. Thank you for giving me the Chris group as a gift. Having money is really great. As a gesture of gratitude, I had intended to bury your body deeper, but as a homeless person, I haven't had enough to eat for many days, so I can only make hasty arrangements. Note. I have inherited your identity, and I am too happy, so I am planning to dig you out and cremate you again. Unfortunately, it seems that a dog has taken the lead. Seeing this, Chen Qi deeply sympathized with Xiao Moya. If he guessed correctly, that black dog should have grown fat and strong. Chen Qi flipped through the pages casually, thinking it was the end, but unexpectedly, there was another surprise. I am Alan Zoff. I was originally a homeless person, but fate gave me a new life, so next, it's my turn to write a diary. Chapter 5 Rich Person's Life You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Alan Zoff. Chen Chi's spirit lifted, 
and this should be the guy who died in front of him tonight. Chen Qi was full of expectations and turned to the next page, but there was a blank space. Chen Qi, who didn't give up, flipped through the entire notebook but didn't write anything at all. Isn't this guy Island writing a diary at all? Alternatively, his diary is not even in this villa. Chen Qi's intuition told him that the second guess was the answer. Even vaguely, he guessed where the diary was. The game character he inherited, Giorgio Chris, although has no specific memory, always brings a kind of guidance. This world is really becoming increasingly unfamiliar. But I definitely won't regret rolling that dice. The bronze dice were once again summoned by Chen Qi, perhaps because a wish had already been fulfilled, Chen Qi felt a deeper connection with it. After this unique wishing experience, Chen Qi had a guess about the wishing mechanism of this dice. The number of points determines the strength of the bronze dice projected into reality. Perhaps in the judgment of bronze dice, predicting the winning number in the lottery is not much different from giving a person's date of death. The forces it can project into reality are those, and how to interfere with reality depends entirely on the maker. Of course, this is Chin Chi's speculation. Perhaps the next time he makes a wish, he will make a new discovery. What kind of experience is the life of the rich? Previously, Chin Chi, a migrant worker, could only rely on imagination, but now he can freely experience all of this. One night later, Chen Qi's biggest feeling was that the bed could be so comfortable, the home could be so warm, and the food could be so delicious. After a sumptuous breakfast, Chen Qi put on the high.end clothes he could only look up to before and prepared to face today's challenge. His new, Joania Chris, has officially gone online. Hello Chairman. You came so early today, it's really hard work. At the headquarters of Chris Group, Chen Qi's sedan had just stopped and he enjoyed a high dot level reception. In the past, he could only hide in the back row of the crowd, serving as a backdrop to set the atmosphere. Hee <laughs> hee, it turns out that standing in the center of a crowd is not just about having a straight waist. But it's because when you stand in the center, everyone else is nodding and bowing. Chen Qi enjoyed the crowd's embrace calmly, without any discomfort or anxiety. Everything went smoothly, and he perfectly performed the performance of Giorgio Chris. Originally, Chen Qi was worried that others would find him a fake, but he soon discovered the incredible nature of King's game. Everyone around has no doubt about the identity of Giorgio Chris. Even if he took the risk of making several attempts that did not conform to the chairman's character, Everyone would only speculate on whether the chairman had any ulterior motives, and there would be no doubt that the guy in front of him was a fake. No wonder, Alan Zoff, even a homeless man can successfully inherit the Chris group. I used to be careful of disguising myself to avoid arousing others' suspicion, but now I can change my plan. After confirming that there would be no issues with his identity as Chiao Moya, Chen Qi decided to release himself. If the new life is still as docile and restrained as before, then it's better to roll back to the rental house. Notify the Greek manager of the subsidiary company of the group. I will see him in the office within 20 minutes. Chen Qi gave the first order of the day to the secretary beside him, and Greet was Chen Qi's previous boss. Yes, boss, you will see him soon. The secretary hurriedly left, and Chen Qi didn't expect that, Alan Zoff, would use a male secretary. This is really a bit unexpected. In Chen Qi's mind, he suddenly became a wealthy wanderer, shouldn't he be more self-indulgent? But Chen Qi soon found out that he had underestimated Island. After he found Ellen's diary in the office safe, he finally saw what indulging in life was. Ha ha ha, everything is so easy that no one would doubt my identity. This company belongs to me now. This is Island's first diary, obviously what Chin Chi has just experienced, and he has also experienced it before. Luxury cars, nightclubs, beauties, throwing money. The following month's diary content allowed Chin Chi to experience a world of extravagance and extravagance. Chin Chi felt that the reason this guy wrote a diary was to secretly show off. 
but people always have insatiable desires, especially after possessing superpowers that surpass others. Physical Control Condense ten invisible puppet threads to control living beings. It can be imagined how many unethical things Island did after possessing this ability. What left Chen Qi speechless the most was this guy using his abilities on himself, and he boasted, struggling in bed for three days and three nights. However, Island is not entirely useless. Although he hates learning, he has a talent for learning magic knowledge. In just two months, Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net completely deciphered the diary of Georgia Chris and mocked him as a fool in the diary. By the third month, due to excessive spending, Chris Group's cash flow had broken and there was already a crisis of bankruptcy and bankruptcy. Alan certainly doesn't understand how to run a company, and he's too lazy to bother. But if he were to become poor again, it would be even more impossible. He has his own solution to the crisis of the enterprise. In his diary, Island proudly wrote that it was only with the ability to make money that fools went to work hard to earn money. So he used his physical manipulation ability to forcibly borrow money from the bank and annexed several competitors. However, an accident also occurred. Unfortunately, I encountered another player today. How many enemies does that scammer have? How many people did he offend? Fortunately, I was honest and lenient, and successfully knelt and licked Plum Blossom 10 to save my life. Originally, this game has two factions, defenders, and betrayers. It seems that I cannot act recklessly in the future, otherwise even if I infiltrate the lawful one, I will not be able to escape the final king's judgment. Dot. Since then, Island Style has undergone a major change, and apart from his personal life, he no longer dares to misuse his superpowers. Until three days ago, this guy had a conflict with Huan Hai, the leader of the Firefox gang, while picking up girls in a nightclub, which led to the idea of punishing ordinary people. As for the outcome, it was a successful comeback. At this point, Chen Qi finally figured out all the origins of the game character he inherited. Although there are more unknowns, it is sufficient as a beginner's guide. Chapter 6 Acting recklessly you are listening at novel full dot audio. In front of the Chris Group building, Greet suppressed his excitement and stepped into the building. Just 15 minutes ago, he received a call from the chairman's secretary. The chairman actually wants to personally summon him. Is this a promotion and salary increase to enter the group headquarters? Ha ha ha, it must be because I did a great job in my previous job. Along the way, everyone in the group smiled at him. Obviously, everyone also guessed that he was going to be promoted. If it weren't for the urgency of time, Greet would definitely have stopped and accepted his congratulations. Chairman, Manager Grit has arrived. Secretary Sam carefully reported to Chin Chi, who happened to have finished reading Island's diary. Let him in. Chin Chi didn't even lift his head, burying himself in tidying up a pile of study materials on the table. This is also a magic textbook he obtained from the Tomoa School of Witchcraft and Wizardry from the safe. Tianxing Kan Yushu, The Relationship Between Celestial Phenomena and Magnetic Fields, Earth Vein Structure, The Induction Theory of Man, Stars, and Earth Veins, The Mystery of Human Civilization, A Complete Collection of Basic Knowledge of Ancient Civilization, There are 17 Books in the Forest. Especially the book, A Complete Collection of Basic Knowledge of Ancient Civilizations, has a thickness of 15 centimeters, making it an absolute majority. When Greek came in, he saw the chairman buried in his studies, and a sense of admiration arose in his heart. Our role model. However, half an hour had passed and the chairman, who was studying hard, had no intention of paying attention to him. Don't the chairman know that I came in? But Glitter dared not make a sound, but he heard that the chairman's temperament was unpredictable. If it bothers the chairman, maybe his promotion will be ruined. It's amazing that Gret, a chubby man weighing over 200 pounds, stood for 45 minutes with perseverance. Just as he couldn't hold on and was about to faint, the chairman finally looked at him. How Feng Shui takes turns. 
Chin Chi looked at the familiar fat pig in front of her, with mixed emotions in her heart, but she was really happy and joyful. Working overtime every day, deducting one's own salary, and making oneself bear the blame, I remember the day I lost my job, this guy was just causing trouble for me. Chairman, you. Seeing that the chairman finally paid attention to him, Greed immediately prepared to use his flattery skills and give him a good compliment. He has long heard that the chairman likes to listen to compliments, and today it's finally his turn to showcase his strengths. Congratulations, Gretel. Chen Chi spoke solemnly, and in that moment, Gret felt his toes all excited. You're fired. You can pack your luggage and get lost now. The familiar words appeared in Gretel's ear, which he used to say to his subordinates frequently. His favorite thing to watch was the expressions of sadness, anger, and despair on those useless faces, but this time, it was his turn. Chairman, I. A bolt from the blue, Gret was completely bewildered. However, Chin Chi did not intend to listen to his pleading and explanation, nor did he have the hobby of appreciating the desperate expressions of others. He just breathed a sigh of relief for his former self, that's all. Security, send this guy out. Chen Chi mercilessly waved his hand and bid farewell to Grit, whose life had collapsed. In the hallway of the building, Grit once again enjoyed the gaze of everyone in the group, but this time it was all mockery and schadenfreude. After handling this trivial matter, Chen Chi began to clean up Island's girlfriends. He will face many challenges in the future, such as Huan Hai from the Firefox gang, who has no idle distractions. What Chen Qi needs to do is also very simple, just send breakup messages in groups, and prepare some compensation as well. Although Jamoya has a tall and handsome appearance, Island's poor behavior style makes it clear that his girlfriends don't love him as much. Even those who hate him for not dying exist greatly. In short, after an hour of verbal altercation, Chen Qi paid a small amount of money and successfully solved this problem. Next, Chen Qi began to mobilize the power of the entire group. He only did two things, one was to pressure the police station to clean up the Firefox gang. Chen Qi also knew that doing so was not very useful, but he was just taking the initiative and causing some trouble for these guys to avoid them starting a company. Then he contacted a very capable private detective, and after pouring out a lot of money, the other party promised to provide all the information about who won Hai before dinner. The power of money is indeed omnipotent. Chen Chi only roughly sorted out all the learning materials, and the rumored powerful private detective came knocking on the door. Mr. Chiao Moya, this is all the information you want about who won Hai. Tereno Jike placed a thick stack of documents on Chen Qi's desk, which not only included Hu Wanhai's experiences from childhood to adulthood, but also photos of his various periods. To put it too far, even Hu Wanhai himself may not have this information to understand himself. Chen Qi glanced through it roughly and confirmed some thoughts in his heart, then casually threw the information aside. This is a reward for you. Feeling that he might be able to use the other party's intelligence ability in the future, Chen Qi generously wrote a check worth 100000. For him now, this is just a small sum of money. Thank you very much for your generosity. I also found this while investigating Hu Wan Hai. You may be interested in it. Tereno did not show much excitement about the additional rewards. He operated on the smart communicator for a while, and Chen Qi received a video file. Chen Qi gave Tarino a meaningful glance and then opened the video. In the picture, it is a private club where gang members gather. Josiah Christ trembled with a cold light in his hand, unleashing a killing spree in the crowd, with blood and flesh flying everywhere. String Strangulation Transforming invisible puppet silk threads into metal strings that can be manipulated to strangle prey. As the current owner of the skill, Chen Qi certainly won't get it wrong. Alan, this guy is really quite rough. It's no wonder a person can crash when they venture into the opponent's lair alone. Sure enough, after Island shaved off Hu Wanhai's nose, he was directly hit in the heart by a large caliber pistol. However, 
In the picture, Island Speed is really fast, and Hu Wanhai's younger brothers keep shooting with guns, all of whom are being avoided by him. He dares to venture into the enemy's lair alone, and he also has a reliance. Just a little unlucky in the end, he didn't cut off Hu Wanhai's head, but instead killed him as a Jedi. Chapter 7 Human Covenants You are listening at NovelFull.audio What do you want? Chen Chi looked expressionlessly at Tarino Jik, a private detective who seemed to have his own ideas. Of course, if he overestimates his abilities and has delusions, then he can only apologize. Executive officer, sir, I don't have any other thoughts, I just hope to follow you around. Tereno's eyes were incredibly hot, this was a once.in.a.lifetime opportunity for himself. At the moment he saw the video, he had already made a decision. Hee hee, you are truly the most famous private detective. It seems that you have learned some things you shouldn't have known. Although surprised by the title of executive, Chen Chi appeared very calm. In his mind, the executive should be referring to the player. The king's game has been running for an unknown number of years, and it is not surprising that kind-hearted people in the folk have gained some information to some extent. Facing Tarino, Chen Chi is now firmly seated on the fishing platform. Officer, I really didn't mean to violate your privacy. There have always been rumors in the world that after King Guttaf changed the Blue Taro Kingdom to a monarchy, he established, 52, executives to consolidate his throne and assist him in ruling the entire kingdom. Legend has it that the executive officer not only has a secret identity, but also possesses special abilities. So the little talent dared to guess your identity. A cold sweat appeared on Torino's forehead, and Chin Chi's calm and deep gaze suffocated him. His instinct of experiencing life and death multiple times told him that if his answer could not satisfy the person on the other side, he would bid farewell to the world the next second. It seems you know a lot more. Tell me why you want to join me. What do you have worth recruiting for? Chen Qi's expression remained calm, but this was already the result of his efforts to suppress it. Tarantino really gave him a surprise. The so called Dark Web World is a network of contacts composed of mercenaries, intelligence traffickers, smugglers, underground forces, and so on. Chen Chi didn't expect that the private detective in front of him had a wide range of business, involving another layer of society. Of course, this only surprised Chen Chi a bit, and what truly benefited him the most was the background of the executive. If the executive in Torino's mouth is really a player, combined with the name King Game, then the Blue Taro King, Gatafu, is very suspicious. Assuming all the cards in King's game correspond exactly to the playing cards in real life. So what 52 players hold are all the number cards except for the big and small kings. Will the holder of the king card be King Guttaf? Chen Chi finds it hard to believe that this is a coincidence, and rumors in the dark web world may not be unfounded. If the fact is really what he guessed, Guttaf became the king 43 years ago. And this also means that King's game is likely to have been running for 43 years. This is really terrifying. Your Excellency, the reason why I want to join you is that I hope to receive your protection. You also know that the profession I am currently engaged in is bound to offend some people, especially after I have had contact with the dark web world. I believe I have some talent in intelligence gathering and should be able to provide you with a little assistance. Tarantino was very nervous, it was the biggest gamble in his life. After guessing the identity of Chen Chi as an executive and realizing that the other party had not yet developed their own intelligence organization, Tereno realized that his opportunity had come. He doesn't want to be a private detective for a lifetime. I have to say that you are very smart, and I have always admired smart people, especially those who are brave enough to seize opportunities. This is a check for one million, help me deal with Hu Wan Hai. After thinking for a while, Chen Chi decided to accept Tarantino's offer. What he lacks the most now is all kinds of information, and Torino's appearance is just right. If he can pass this test, Chen Chi will increase his support. Chen Chi does not believe that other players may not have their own intelligence gathering ability, 
and he must not have any shortcomings in this regard. Officer, rest assured that within three days, Huan Hai will definitely disappear completely from this world. Tereno excitedly took the check, knowing that he had made the right bet. As for how Huan Hai managed it, having money has never been a problem, as there are many assassins in the dark world. Chen Qi is very satisfied with Tarantino's performance and is indeed a smart person. In contrast, Island, who came from a homeless background, was both foolish and reckless. They are already billionaires, yet they even compete with a gang leader and become jealous. Even more foolishly, he even personally stepped down to conduct a live person PK. Isn't it fragrant to smash the other party with money? Anyway, even if Chen Qi gains superpowers, he doesn't have the idea of breaking into enemy camps alone and personally taking down Huan Hai. After seeing off Tarino, Chen Qi was once again immersed in the ocean of knowledge. Now, he is eager to decipher all the diary contents of Jamoya and learn more about the inside story of King's Game. Otherwise, if you foolishly encounter other players, you may be tricked to death. The wealth and status he now has is just a beautiful foam. Enjoyment is possible, but one must not be addicted like Island. Magic, Yu Yu reading www.uukangshu.net or in other words, the magic of Tomoya school of witchcraft and wizardry, is completely different from what Chin Chi thinks. There are no novels, no meditation in anime, and no magic strings or crystals. In the book, Introduction to Magic, it is recorded that ordinary people need spiritual awakening to master magic. After spiritual awakening, using the special induction between heaven, earth, and humans, construct a magic array, summon the four symbols book, and sign a contract with the four elements of earth fire and feng shui to obtain magic and cast magic. The knowledge that Qin Qi found before, such as Tianxin Kanyu art and Demi Tectonics, is the prerequisite for constructing magic arrays, so there is no need to study them urgently. What Qin Qi needs now is spiritual awakening. The method of spiritual awakening, as recorded in the book, is quite awkward, or rather unwilling and resentful. This situation appeared in a textbook, which really surprised Qin Qi. In 14533 AD, under the leadership of V5, the world government promulgated its first human convention, the Human Spiritual Awakening Act. Since then, all laws have disappeared, and there is only one method of awakening in the human world, and the glory of magic no longer exists. Ah! Uh. Seeing this scene, Chen Qi looked bewildered. Is magic no longer possible? The world government and V5, of course Chen Qi knows. V5 refers to the five super empires, while the world government is the human alliance formed by V5 in conjunction with all human countries. By now, the number of member countries of the world government has reached 7,000, ruling all disputes in the human world. But the Human Spiritual Awakening Act goes beyond Chin Chi's knowledge, which is probably the tragedy of living in a small country like Blue Taro. The greatness of human civilization is rarely reflected here. Chapter 8 Declaration of the Spirit Realm You are listening at NovelFull.audio Eighteen years ago, an extraterrestrial meteorite crashed into the Blue Taro Kingdom, hitting a moving train and causing a big explosion. The 100-meter giant crater formed by meteorite explosions is still preserved in the Carlos Plain to this day. At that time, Chen Chi was only five years old and luckily survived the explosion, but lost both parents. Fortunately, Chen Chi did a decent job in the aftermath of the Blue Taro Kingdom and successfully grew up and entered society after graduating from an ordinary university. Chen Qi thought that after leaving school, he would no longer have to chew on textbooks. However, fate is so peculiar that spiritual awakening requires mastery of the language of fifteen ancient civilizations. Only in this way can we understand the Spirit Manifesto. And as long as you understand the Spirit Manifesto, you can successfully awaken your own spirituality. This has been verified by countless humans for three thousand years. Can you understand this tadpole-like script after mastering 15 ancient civilization scripts? 
The last page of the complete collection of basic knowledge of ancient civilizations records the declaration of the spiritual realm. However, in Chen Qi's eyes, it was just piles of tadpoles gathered together. Even if you stare for a long time, you may have hallucinations and see those tadpoles swimming around in the book. This is not in line with his past worldview, but it is really magical and mystical. Looking back on, Jamoya, S last words, he really needs to work hard to learn. Because that guy's encrypted diary uses ancient civilization script, and it uses a total of seven types. So Chen Qi began to study hard with the complete collection of basic knowledge of ancient civilizations. This book only provided some science popularization on the lost ancient civilization in the first half, and the second half was a dictionary. Chen Qi counted and just compared 15 ancient civilization scripts. Time passed day by day in Chen Qi's hard study. He studied in the office during the day and stayed up late studying at home at night. Chen Qi was originally quite confident in his learning ability, but just two days later, he was almost struck by doubts about life. Are these lost ancient civilization scripts really invented by humans? This is Chen Qi's only learning insight, because these ancient Chinese characters are really strange. Every hour, Chen Qi forgets two dot thirds of the ancient characters he previously learned and mastered. It's not that I can't remember it anymore, but that my brain is blank and clean. It's like the brain refuses to accept them and deletes them. Chen Qi felt that even if he forgets to eat and sleep, he may not be able to master an ancient Chinese language within a month. After reaching a health level of four, his brain's memory far exceeds that of ordinary people. Chen Qi suspected that Eland was absolutely bragging. How could he possibly crack, Jamoya, S diary within three months? If it's true, this guy must have a lot of talent, but he really has the right to mock, Jamoya, as a fool. Chen Qi originally planned to look for study notes from the two of them and learn from their learning methods. However, there was none at all, and he seemed to have to stick to it. However, although I couldn't find Eiland's notes on learning ancient characters, I found something else. Eiland's superpower experiment record. Eiland has a deep love for the skill of physical manipulation, and he has conducted more than a dozen experiments on himself alone. Chen Qi naturally accepted this without hesitation, and after studying ancient Chinese characters to no avail, he began to devote a lot of time to skill training. Contrary to Chen Qi's expectations, his talent in skill manipulation seems to be better than Island's. This finally eased some of his depression. In a high dot end ward at the fourth hospital of Talan City, a person whose head is wrapped into Zongzi is roaring in a muffled voice. It's not that Hu Wanhai doesn't want to roar loudly, but rather that his nose is gone and he is powerless to speak loudly. Waste, waste. It's been two days now, and surprisingly, that kid's company hasn't been burned down yet. Do you still have me as the boss in your eyes? Hu Wanhai's inner frustration and anger are indescribable. Isn't it just because of robbing women? As for the killing spree. What frightened him even more was the terrifying ability of Giorgio. That bastard is definitely not an ordinary person. He didn't die after being shot in the heart. But he was still heavily injured, otherwise he wouldn't have escaped. This indicates that the guy is not invincible and still has weaknesses, which prevented him from being overwhelmed by fear. But Hu Wanhai is well aware that this matter is definitely not over, and they must both die. Boss, there's really nothing we can do. The police station has been keeping an eye on us. Who would have thought that guy was actually a billionaire? Why don't we ask someone to deliver a message and make peace? Peace is precious. Vice leader Lin Tianming is pleading his grievances while persuading. It's not that the brothers don't want to avenge you, but that there's no chance. Humph, make peace. Isn't my nose a waste of effort? Hu Wanhai glared angrily at Lin Tianming, knowing that this guy had a rebellious personality. Lin Tianming originally intended to say that with the advancement of technology, he wanted to switch to a biomimetic one, but when he saw the boss's unfriendly gaze, he immediately closed his mouth. 
Forget it, you're good at dealing with the police. As for that kid, I've already hired the assassin. Hu Wan Hai always seeks revenge. He believes he has seen through the weaknesses of Chiao Moya, so he hires a professional assassin. Large caliber sniper rifle, armor piercing bullet, it depends on whether you die or not. Boss, be careful, that kid is a wealthy person. Kill him and we'll have big trouble. Lin Tianming felt that he was definitely thinking about the gang, but Hu Wanhai's murderous gaze and Yu Yu reading www.uukangshu.net immediately made him shiver all over. But before he could explain, bang! Hu Wanhai's head suddenly exploded, splattering flesh and blood for more than 10 meters. The boss actually hung up. Not bad, done very well. The final payment will be paid to you immediately. Within the detective agency, Tarino received a video from the killer. In order to achieve a one-shot kill, he contacted the top marksman in the dark world of Blue Taro Country, a large caliber sniper rifle with armor-piercing bullets. Even if Huan Hai wore a bulletproof vest, he could still shoot him in half. Now it seems that the money is worth it. Your Excellency, the matter has been settled. At the first moment, Tarino reported the situation to Chen Chi and sent a video of the killing. Well done. You're qualified. On the other side of the communicator, a satisfied voice came from Chen Chi. Officer, I have an intelligence report to report. Hu Wanhai once contacted the top ranked sniper to try to kill you, but he didn't pay as much as I did, so the sniper turned to work for us. But I cannot guarantee that he has not contacted his killer this will take time to confirm. This message was a bonus from the assassin, which is also why Tarino thinks it's worth it. After all, it can showcase one's abilities in front of executives. I know, but you don't need to confirm. The assassin has already set his sights on me. All right, do your job well. That guy seems to be preparing to shoot. I'll take care of it. Tereno only heard a loud noise from the communicator, and it seemed that something had really happened on the executive's end. Chapter 9 Physical Manipulation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. When Chen Chi received Torino's call, he was preparing to make an appointment with a lady. I thought that after disbanding those girlfriends, there wouldn't be any trouble coming to my door. But Chen Chi obviously underestimated Ireland. Just this morning, a beautiful lady called him. Chen Chi looked at the note on the caller ID indicating target 013, feeling overwhelmed. But after a brief probing and communication, Chen Chi finally agreed to the request to meet. Alan's transaction with this lady successfully sparked his interest. Is someone staring at me? As soon as he walked out of Chris' building, Chen Chi's mysterious intuition gave him a reminder. After reaching a health level of 4, Chen Chi conducted a test. The most significant change, apart from being one step stronger in strength and speed than ordinary people, is that kind of intuition. Chen Qi named it danger perception, which seems to come from an integration of the body's information collected from the five senses, often providing direct warnings before the brain makes a judgment. At this moment, Chen Qi felt like a thorn constantly piercing his forehead. It's a sniper rifle. At the right time, Tarino reported that Hu Wanhai might have hired an assassin, and Chen Qi suddenly realized. Physical manipulation at the moment of crisis, Chen Qi activated the superpower bestowed by the Seven Hearts. A purple light burst out from the back of his left hand, and ten invisible puppet silk thread spread out from Chen Qi's fingers. The moment the puppet silk thread appeared, it immediately pierced into Chen Qi's body. In the next moment, the warning of danger reached its peak, and an armor-piercing bullet broke away from the muzzle at three times the speed of sound and shot towards Chin Chi's head. Zero. One seconds, this is the last time left by the assassin Black Eagle for Chin Chi. He doesn't think the target can be reflected, let alone just an ordinary person, even experienced veterans on the battlefield cannot avoid it. Because the physiological response limit of humans is only 100 milliseconds, which is 0.1 seconds. 
this is determined by the way human neural signals are transmitted, unless the other party is not human. However, an incredible thing happened in the eyes of the Black Hawk. The bullet penetrated the target's body and destroyed the vehicle behind it. But the target was actually intact and not blasted into a pile of fragments. Black Eagle was confident that he wouldn't miss the shot, and there was only one answer. The target character miraculously avoided the bullet. Withdraw. Every time a Black Eagle is assassinated, it will only shoot one bullet. Regardless of success or failure, he will immediately evacuate. That's also why he can live so long in the killer world. However, he has decided to contact his employer before the next move. The intelligence is incorrect. The other party is not an ordinary person and needs to pay more. Is this why Island became obsessed with physical manipulation? At this point, the puppet silk thread is connected to Chin Chi's neural network, and any decision made by the brain will be immediately executed by the body, with almost no delay felt. According to the experimental data provided by Island, the reaction speed of humans in this state can reach 30 milliseconds, which is exactly 10 times that of normal humans. This is also why Chin Chi can dodge bullets, even because his speed is too fast, exceeding the threshold of human visual persistence, 0.1.0.14 seconds, making it impossible for the Black Hawk to see if he has moved. This state, named Divine Speed by Island, is just a negligible manifestation of the ability to manipulate the body. In the next moment, two puppet silk threads disappeared into Chin Chi's eyes. Chen Qi's pupils suddenly contracted and dilated sharply, and with the adjustment of his pupils, his eyes transformed into a pair of high-dot-definition telescopes, making ants visible from a hundred meters away. Following the trajectory, Chen Qi immediately locked onto the killer's position. That is a high-dot-end office building with 30 floors, over 150 meters away from him. And the killer is on the rooftop. Did that guy see me? How could that be? The Black Eagle, who had packed his firearms, was about to leave when he found that the target person was looking towards his position. Although confident that the other party would not be able to find him, he still filled his pistol with bullets and held it tightly in his hand before going downstairs. Ding! Three seconds later, the Black Eagle appeared in front of the elevator door, where he had prepared his hands and feet in advance for a quick escape. After entering the elevator, descend all the way without any stopping in the middle. Assassination failed, the target person is definitely not an ordinary person, I need more detailed intelligence. We still need to add money. Taking advantage of this leisure time, Black Eagle sent a message to the employer. However, the employer did not respond for a long time. What Black Eagle did not know was that Hu Wanhai's body had not yet fully cooled down. After the elevator reached the third floor, Black Eagle opened the elevator and walked into the hallway. He won't go straight to the first floor. If he is unfortunately ambushed, the narrow elevator will have no escape, no escape. Black Eagle hid his pistol in his sleeve and carried a slightly larger black briefcase, disguised as a normal white dot collar worker. Along the way, he was completely unaware of any danger, it seemed that he was overthinking. However, in the next moment, he was shocked to find that his hands and feet had their own thoughts and were out of his control. Across a thick floor slab, at the corner of the lobby on the first floor, Chen Chi withdrew his footsteps from the stairs he had just stepped on. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net There was no need to continue upwards, his puppet silk thread passed through reinforced concrete and captured the target. The puppet silk thread was accompanied by Chin Chi's perception, even though it was only a hundred meters away before, with a quick glance, Chin Chi firmly remembered the appearance of the assassin. Even a few wrinkles on his face were clear. I am truly an elite assassin. I used puppet silk thread to control my thigh muscles and arrived here in just ten seconds. This guy is almost running away. In order not to affect the image of his chairman, Chen Qi did not rush all the way here, but walked quickly. I didn't expect this assassin to be professional enough, it's just a bit unlucky. What's going on here? 
The black eagle, whose hands and feet were out of control, had a face full of fear. However hard he tried, his feet were firmly welded to the ground like nails. What made it even more difficult for him to accept was that his left hand slowly raised the pistol and pressed it against his own temple. No, no, I don't want to die. He wanted to beg for mercy, but found that his vocal cords had long lost their function and could not make a sound. Now he is just a puppet manipulated by someone. It's time to end. For those who want to kill themselves, Chin Chi naturally won't show mercy. This is also the only thing he learned in the slums. Bang! The black eagle slowly pulled the trigger in endless fear and despair. Today at the police station, there will be another suicide case. In the lobby of the first floor, Chin Chi let out a long sigh and turned around to leave. If he doesn't hurry up to attend the appointment, he will be late. Chapter 10 Red Falcon Gate You are listening at NovelFull.audio Player Xiao Moya Chris, Chin Chi, Health Level 4 Equipment Heart 7 Skills Body Control LV1, String Hanging LV1, PowerPoint 23, Since Chin Chi's first experiment with skills, their level has reached LV1. This means that Chin Chi can successfully release his skills. Each time a skill is used, it will consume one point of spiritual energy, and after each day, the spiritual energy points will automatically recover a bit. So if it weren't for releasing a large number of skills in a short period of time, the player's spiritual power points would still be sufficient. But what players pursue is not just to release their skills, but to engage in more powerful development. For example, the speed and deagleite states that Chin Chi previously used were developed by Island using 15 power points. And Chin Chi only managed to master them with 3 power points. From the perspective of skill development alone, Eland has indeed left a valuable legacy for Chin Chi. After solving the killer's matter, Chin Chi took a car to the agreed location. On the way, Chin Chi made several phone calls, completely eliminating the impact of the recent attack. At the same time, he issued a new order to Tarantino, requiring him to keep an eye on the Firefox gang. Although according to his speculation, after Hu Wanhai's death, this matter should be able to be resolved. But what if the new leader is very loyal? The Tallinn Public Library is the place with the highest collection of books in Tallinn. On the second floor of the library, there are dozens of paid private reading rooms. At 2.30 p.m., Chen Chi arrived at the ninth reading room on time and saw Mu Wanqing waiting inside. She has long hair that reaches her waist, a slender and slender figure, a delicate and charming face, but exudes a calm demeanor throughout her body. That indescribable temperament paired with beauty, surpassing Alan's girlfriends, no wonder it is listed as a pursuit goal. If it weren't for her appearance coinciding with Alan's reform and daring not to act recklessly, Chin Chi believed she would have fallen into the clutches long ago. Nevertheless, Island did not give up. Unfortunately, he just set up the net and the person hung up. Mr. Jamoya, after discussion, we have decided to agree to your transaction. As long as you can cure the owner's injury, we will teach you the secret technique of Red Falcon Gate. But you must join the Red Falcon Gate. Mu Wanqing looked at Xiao Moya Chris in front of her in confusion, feeling that there was something different about him. It seems that the gaze is not as annoying anymore. Faced with Mu Wanqing's gaze, Chen Qi remained incredibly calm, not worried that the other party would see through that he was a fake. King's game will take care of everything. Miss Mu, I plan to change the transaction details. Your museum owner has a damaged nervous system, and as we all know, nerve cells are not renewable and their repair is extremely difficult. At least this technology is not available in small neighboring countries. Even if I have some special abilities, achieving them requires some cost and wastes a lot of time. So why don't you first teach me the secret techniques? As a gesture of sincerity, I can help you establish the Red Falcon sect in Tallinn City and provide funding for rebuilding the martial arts school. Chen Chi played his own lucky card. 
He was not interested in Mu Wanqing in front of him, but he was very interested in the Red Falcon Gate. The Red Falcon Gate comes from the Tianwu Kingdom, which is a very special small country. I don't know if it's due to genetic mutations or other reasons, but the physical strength of the Tianwu people is exceptionally strong. So various fighting techniques were prevalent in its country, and some martial arts sects even spread for thousands of years. Originally, this was not a big deal, especially in today's era, so that called fighting techniques can only be used to strengthen the body. But Tianwu Kingdom unfortunately encountered an evil neighbor. 300 years ago, the Black Blood Federation, which was originally an ordinary small country, rose up and became a regional power. Just 50 years ago, the Black Blood Federation, unwilling to rank last among medium-sized powers, secretly implemented the Super Warrior Plan. They secretly apprehended the fighters of Tianwu Kingdom and studied the secrets of their physical strength. After scientists conducted slicing studies, they found that the nervous system of Tianwu people is very developed, and they can more freely control the muscle fibers throughout the body. Compared to the average human reaction speed of 300 milliseconds, any child in Tianwu Kingdom can reach 200 milliseconds. As for generations of martial arts practitioners, after a long period of development, the fighters have become even more powerful, even breaking the human reaction limit of 0.1 seconds. This is only in terms of speed, but the efficiency of fighters in using human muscles is even more terrifying. Human beings have 639 muscles and 6 billion muscle fibers. The efficiency of muscle utilization by ordinary humans is only 10%. And the fighters generally doubled, reaching 20%. This enables them to carry the tripod with strength and tame it like galloping horses. As for the top fighters, they can reach up to 30%, making them human Tyrannosaurus rex. The Super Warrior program of the Black Blood Federation focuses on the muscle control ability of the fighters. They plan to implant intelligent chips in the human body, combine big data algorithms, and establish a new human control system to take over the human neural network. They firmly believe that as long as the human muscle utilization rate reaches 80%, Mecha can be dismantled by hand. UU reading www.uukangshu.net So the martial artists of Tianwu Kingdom, who were used as experimental materials, were considered unlucky. The gap between small and medium-sized powers makes them despair. Chen Qi was able to know these things because ten years ago, the Black Blood Federation was involved in a major power dispute, and this matter was exposed. Because it is not too far from Tianwu Kingdom, the citizens of Blue Taro Kingdom are still very enthusiastic about eating melons. Happiness is all about comparison. To be honest, if it weren't for knowing King's Game, Chen Qi, like other citizens, would have thought that Blue Taro country was stable, peaceful, and suitable for living. As for the final outcome of this matter, the Black Blood Federation was sued by the president of Tenmu province to the International Court of Justice and received an astronomical amount of compensation. The Black Blood Alliance has also been investigated by the world government for conducting unauthorized human experiments. Although it was unclear what cost it had to pay to pass, it never recovered and the entire country fell into internal turmoil. As experimental fighters, even though many were rescued after the investigation team entered, they were completely paralyzed and turned into useless people. Yu Hongwu, the contemporary owner of the Red Falcon Gate, which has been passed down for thousands of years, is such an unlucky person. Moreover, due to certain actions taken by the government of Tianwu Kingdom in this plan, the Red Falcon Gate dared not stay in Tianwu Kingdom anymore. Instead, after wandering several times, he came to Blue Taro Kingdom. Island, driven by his obsession with powerful bodies, set his sights on them after arriving at the Blue Taro Kingdom in the Red Falcon Gate. After all, the secret technique of the Red Falcon sect can increase the efficiency of human muscle utilization to 35%. This is an achievement that even the Black Blood Federation could not achieve before the end of the Super Warrior program. 